Hey y'all, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 242, valid anagram. We basically need to say if two strings are the anagrams or not, and we just need to return boolean in the end. And guys, for those of you who forgot, one string is the anagram of another string when basically these two strings, they contain the same amount, the same characters, only the order is different. If it's the case, it means that it's the anagram and we return true. If it's not, we return false, simply as that. There's also one note that you might assume the string contains only lowercase alphabets. That's good. And there's the, also the follow-up question, but we'll come back to it later. I, I will basically show you two approaches. One to just, you know, solve this question efficiently. And the second one, how you would solve this question if you would solve the follow-up question. Okay, guys, let me just quickly write the code and I will go through it with you in a few seconds. Okay, okay, guys, so what do we have here? Basically, first of all, we're going to check for the base case. And basically, when the two input strings, they have a different length, so they, they have different amount of characters. In this case, we can definitely say that these two strings are not the anagrams, and we just can return false straight away. After that, because of this node, because we know that like all the input strings will, will be made only from the lowercase, uh, characters from the alphabet. We know that there are only like 26 letters in the English alphabet, so we just basically create the integer array of size 26 and we'll use this array to count how many times we see each particular character, to count like the letters basically. So that after that we can first of all iterate through the string s and we basically increment the counter for each particular character from the alphabet which we see. On every iteration when we see a character we do like plus one and after that we can iterate through another string and do the opposite thing we can just like you know subtract the counter so we'll do like minus minus which will mean that like in the end if you will iterate through our integer array which has like all the characters and the counter for them and if we iterate through the through this like 26 letters from the alphabet and in case if like the counter for any of them will not be equal to zero, it should mean that, okay, these strings are the not anagrams and we just return false straight away. If we iterate and we don't return this false, we'll return true in the end. Simply as that, guys. Okay, let me run the code now. Perfect, guys, 100%, simply as that. Now, let me talk a bit about the follow-up question. What if the input contains unicode characters? How would you adapt your solution to such case? So another solution, how we can solve this problem to solve the follow-up question is to just basically use the use a hash map. We'll iterate through the strings and we'll calculate, you know, basically we'll have a counter like similar to this one, but because, you know, we don't know like the, what kind of characters we will have there like, so we will not be able to use this like integer array in this case, we'll use the hash map and just we'll do the similar thing, but with the hash map. Okay, let me just reset the editor and I will quickly write the code now. Okay, dokie guys, so what do we have here? Basically the same base case. If two lengths are not the same, we just return false because it means that it's definitely not the anagram. After that, we create the hash map with the key character and the value integer, so character to store each unicode character which we might have, and the counter to, and basically the integer to count how many times we see this character, let's say, in the string s. And then, of course, yeah, after that, we iterate through the string s. We basically update the counter, so we put like the character inside the, the hash map. Um, we do like the map get or default, so if this value is not presented yet in the hash map, we basically will put zero and then we'll increment by one. So we'll put like value one. If it's presented, then this like function will return the current counter and then we'll still do plus one. Okay, then we basically, after that, we'll iterate through the string t, character by character. We'll take this counter out 
again, we will use like get or default in case if this character is not presented in the hash map, default will give us zero. And if it's equal to zero, and like right now we're on this character, it means that, okay, this character is missing from the string S. That's why we just return false straight away. If not, we will decrement our counter and we'll continue to iterate through the string. If in the end we did return false, which will mean that these two strings are the anagrams, in this case we return true. Simply as that, guys. I hope it's clear. Let me run the code. Perfect, let me submit. Perfect, guys. Yeah, as you see, it's not that efficient as the previous approach, but it's a follow-up question, so we are solving uh, a bit bigger task which we are supposed to solve, so that's fine. It works. And I think that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please, guys, give it a like and subscribe. Challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Good luck.